Hi, welcome to this video today, which is all about trading forex market structure using advanced pattern formations and a fatal error that traders make. What is the fatal error to try trading advanced patterns in the first place? They do not work and the evidence is clear. You can go and check it out. I'm going to give it to you in a moment. Also, in terms of trading advanced patterns, it's extremely popular, yet the evidence is overwhelming that it doesn't work. Why is it so popular with retail traders? Um, basically, they're fooled by an illusion, which I'll go through. I'll also go through three books that you should read on Forex market movement to learn how the markets really move and the best technical trading strategies for profit. So right, let's discuss all these uh, points in more detail. I've written them up on a storyboard. So let's go and take a look at them. All right, let's have a look at uh, Forex uh, advanced pattern trading formations and why they actually fail to make money for traders. It's just simply a losing way of trading longer term. Now let's take point number one. It should be a red flag to any trader considering using advanced patterns. No institutional professional trader, hedge fund trader, money manager who's successful uses patterns. You know, just look it up and you'll find not one of the world's, you know, top traders uses advanced patterns because uh, they don't work, okay? There's plenty of methods that do work. You should use one of those. I'll come back um, to methods that do work in a moment. Now, in terms of patterns, why don't they work? Well, obviously they're predictive, aren't they? If you take all these advanced patterns like, I don't know, crabs, bats, ciphers, they're predictive. Prices should go from one level to another level, then to another level. Um, they're looking at the markets like the market moves to some sort of scientific formula and investor psychology is kind of static. We all know that uh, the chart comes out of investor psychology towards the fundamentals or investment, or sorry, investor sentiment towards the fundamentals. That produces the chart. And um, investor sentiment towards the fundamentals is constantly changing. There's no way Forex markets can be predicted, okay? Now, patterns can only be traded in hindsight. They can. You can see ciphers or crabs on a chart going backwards, advanced patterns, and you can also see simple patterns like symmetrical triangles, head and shoulders, tops, bottoms, ascending, descending triangles. You can see them work in hindsight. It's a clustering illusion. Yeah, what you're seeing effectively is the pattern work in hindsight, but you don't see the patterns that didn't work out, okay? It's a clustering illusion. If you want to know more about the clustering illusion, just look it up online, okay? Now, if we take tests that have been done on any patterns, you have simple, complex, um, it's been proved in numerous tests that they're no better than random in terms of giving you a profit. Well, if you've got chances of no better than random, you haven't got the odds on your side, you haven't got an edge, and you will lose. Now, of course, there's a lot of educators who promote uh, advanced pattern trading strategies. So uh, where's the evidence of profits? Do they produce an audited track record? No. Do they even give you trades in real time entry stop and targets and see if their strategy works? I haven't found one that does. They know it doesn't work, okay? But they know that retail traders will buy them because they don't think about the logic. They don't look at the evidence that they don't work. What they're attracted to is they can look at the chart, just make money, okay, with a pattern. And of course, if it's a little bit advanced, then, you know, retail traders think, oh, yeah, that should work well. Yeah, a little bit of complexity. No, yeah, it's the fact that simple is best. Um, yeah, I, I must admit, it, uh, that's the only reasons I can think of why traders actually use pattern trading strategies. So or maybe just ho they hope they can win without having to think. Um, but uh, yeah, very popular 
and yeah, just look up the evidence for yourself. They don't work. Um, in terms of you really want to learn about Forex movement, get a strategy that does work. Um, recommend three books for you. And they're interesting, actually, because they will actually conclusively prove the pattern trading strategies don't work. And the first one is Winner Takes All by William Gallagher. And he points out the dead failed guru. And he talks about pattern traders. And, you know, the pattern trading strategies that are popular, um, all the people who devise them are dead, okay? Uh, or the really popular ones. So in terms of Gartley patterns, they're probably the most popular around at the moment. Well, he's dead. Uh, he wasn't a trader. He was a failed newsletter writer and suddenly became famous after his death. So if he didn't make any money with the strategy, why would you want to try it? The same goes for other pattern traders who are now deceased. For example, Elliot, Elliot Wave, very popular. Well, he died poor. He couldn't make any money with his strategy, despite the fact that he could said he could predict anything in the world, not just financial markets. Of course, there's Fibonacci. Now, he wasn't actually a trader at all. He was a mathematician in Italy. 17th century who just simply created an equation that basically showed exponential growth you know he wasn't a trader and yet his equation has been taken and used by traders it's just not applicable okay it's a great book um, because it just goes in to the ridiculousness of pattern trading a lot of other errors that traders make in terms of choosing strategies and uh, very good at pointing out how the technicals fail with patterns. Uh, next book give you an insight into how markets really move markets and market logic by Stiedelmeier and Coy. The markets as an auction system how investor psychology works in relation to price should be a must read for any trader coming in the markets. Uh, third book, Why Aren't They Shouting, by Kevin Rogers. And he talks about the rise of the HFTs, high-frequency traders, who create massive amounts of noise in the market, particularly in shorter-term time frames, where a lot of pattern traders want to trade. Okay, And how these HFTs just basically skew patterns and really just hunt down retail traders. Okay, It's a really interesting book in terms of the development of the markets and yeah, the rise of automated trading. Those three books give you a thorough grounding in terms of um, how the markets really move. Now, in terms of best technical trading strategies, um, my own view is if you look it up, you'll find that, yeah, there's good few that will work okay you can do breakouts and fail breakouts for example you can trade volatility strategies i think they're the best in terms of technical trading strategies like standard deviation to a mean and all the strategies that will work with technical analysis are very very simple and they focus on what's going on right now in terms of price action rather than you know what went on before that is not so important you focus on the here and now now i would say and you join our mailing list for this we'll send you details of technical training strategies that can make money but if you want to make really decent money from the markets you've got to study in my view uh the sentiment of traders towards the fundamentals again learn a lot more about that on our youtube channel or simply join our mailing list. Now, in terms of the evidence, advanced pattern strategies simply don't work. Don't take my word for it. Go and research the points above and you'll hopefully come to the same conclusion as me and you'll save money by not trying a strategy that retail traders really like but no professional <laughs> trader would use. Right, that is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care and have a good day.